cooperation and co-creation. And this is a really pure proof uh, where a good alignment of interests, strategies and also ambitions uh, can be achieved because initiative came from a trap from cities, from trap committee, from cities and from the commission and we sit together and we said okay let's do something and we found a way within the existing plans, with the existing uh, instruments to support this really important and absolutely necessary initiative. We need to know that cities present more than 70% of all population and more than 80% of all GDP is created in the cities. And if we can make a difference in the cities, uh, then we can make a real difference in the overall picture. And if I add that CO2 emissions that come from transport that contribute 24% of all CO2, 60%, over 60% comes from road. Uh, mode. Then, again, we have a very clear focus when we need to start addressing the issue. And that's why I'm so happy today that uh, with the collaboration of all stakeholders, we are able to launch this important uh, initiative and I hope that it will deliver on its promises. Uh, we need to decrease the CO2 pollution, we want to decrease also the noise in the cities and these are two factors that also reflect in a socio-economical cost. Uh, our estimates are showing uh, very high figures and I will share them with you. Over uh, 120 billion euros are associated with the uh, socio-economical costs related to the air pollution and the noise pollution. And imagine that we can transform at least portion of that into the constructive projects, into creation, into youth development, into social development. And that would, that's what really at least engages me to be active uh, and to help those that are interested to deploy uh, mechanisms like this one today. I'm not going to be go too deep on this issue, but I'd like to point out yet the third dimension that these kind of initiatives are bringing. Please work together and create the power of purchasing of big volumes and negotiate good prices with the industry. It works both ways. Industry needs predictable uh, orders that they can plan for their uh, production facilities and you need good prices and the good prices come with the large volumes. And I hope that this kind of uh, clean bus deployment initiative will help you in that as well. That people who are alike come together and they negotiate the good prices, good conditions, and then also have a much bigger pile and much bigger strength in development of new initiatives. And I hope clean buses is just the first step. We would like to see green logistics entirely uh, in the cities be uh, walking towards these uh, same goals. So please think further, please engage further, and we are here to listen, and I promise you we will continue to engage and support cities also to deliver on the most ambitious agenda that the Commission and President Juncker already put in front of us in the first day of this Commission. Thank you very much.